In Six Sigma, we often want to look at variation, or I call it deviation, where we're deviating from a, from a standard target value. And the box and whisker is one tool to help us do that. Now there are other tools like dot plots, which show all the data points in, in an order or in a histogram, who groups them all together. Uh, and But sometimes we might want to analyze things a little bit differently. So the box plot is pretty simple. Uh, what it's, it's like a little mini histogram, if you will. And there's the it shows the median is the center line on the box. The first quartile shows the bottom of the first box, and the third quartile is the top. Now, if you don't have a green or a yellow, that means that the median is identical to the third or first quartile. And then there's these whiskers that are the greater of the max value, or one and a half times the difference between these two things. And then there's little X's that show an outlier, something really outside of the norm here. And so literally you should see most of your data in the center and then some spread and then it's like a little mini histogram. So let's, let's take an example of that. So here's some data. And imagine that you have a uh, injection molding machine and you have four different cavities that are filling things and you're measuring various uh, dimensions in here. Well, literally, you can take that data, select it with your mouse. In the QI macros, we have a box and whisker chart. You click on box and whisker, and you can group it by row or by column. So if we wanted to group all the, the row stuff, we could do it that way. And here you can see, you know, top, middle, bottom, top, middle, bottom, top, middle, bottom. You can kind of see that there's um, some variability in how we're producing things. Now we could come on back here and we could take that same data, click on the QI macros, and say box and whisker chart. Let's group it by column. In this way we can see, is there any difference between our four uh, different cavities? And here you can see we have a couple of outliers. Cavity 1 is obviously producing a little bit larger and cavity 4 is a little lower. And cavity 2 and 3 are sort of in the middle. And so theoretically what we want to do is move, if there's a target line on here anywhere, and so I, I could just imagine, if you will, that I'd like to draw uh, some sort of target on here. I could draw a line on here, and that would show where my target is. I'd like to move all of these so that they are on that same line. I'd like that my cavities are producing the same result. So that's the box and whisker chart. And again, it helps you identify and analyze uh, variability from different perspectives. And to watch it as it goes through time, or watch it as it's a particular result from a particular machine or something of that nature. You know, we could also do this with different shifts, you know, and uh, there's all kinds of ways to use the box and whisker chart to show variability. And that's how easy it is to draw one of these in the QI Macros. And you can download a 30-day trial from QIMacros.com.